Hey guys, what's happening? So, I thought I'd show you or introduce you to my 3D printed uh, crypto mining rig uh, project here. So, just got done finished printing this thing, and yeah, it took a lot of days. I, I mean, I had a lot of failed prints, but it took like uh, like four or five days. But let me show you all the failed prints real fast. Oh, before I show you the failed prints, I'll kind of give you a better description of what this thing is. So, it's a mining rig frame for an ATX motherboard and power supply mount. So it's going to be a modular mining frame. So this is just the first phase of it, but I was inspired by uh, this other project I had done. My other Thingiverse, it's on my Thingiverse page, but it's uh, I created this whole ATX standoff for a micro ATX motherboard. So right now I only have micro ATX, but I'm designing an extension that you could actually have for a full size motherboard, but let me show you this real fast. Uh, so I bought this on uh, eBay for 20 bucks. It's an older, uh, you know, uh, it was 20 bucks, it came with a motherboard, obviously uh, micro ATX, and uh, even though I actually have the extra holes for like a full size, like the motherboard over here, ATX motherboard, uh, this one it actually doesn't have the back holes, so that's why you see the extra holes here, but if you had a full size micro ATX board, you could out there and there but uh, yeah one of the things I, I, I did, wanted to do was um, I wanted to have the power supply underneath the motherboard and that's what the slot here is um, I'll show you that in a second I get the power supply in there we'll get a mod or mounted and then I created these holes around it all this right here it's gonna mount the uh, side side mounts I bring up and hold the actual GPUs so my thought with the mi micro ATX um, version. I actually, I already have all the parts designed. It's kind of print them out, but uh, it was going to be a four GPU, so you could actually hook four GPUs up to this thing. And so it'd be like a small, very compact little mining rig set up here. But uh, yeah, this thing was definitely uh, took days. I had, I had a couple fail prints. Um, I designed this to actually be able to print without supports, so I wanted to have a cleaner look without supports. And I also have this cut out for uh, the same material and airflow, so. But if you wanted to put some like pads on here, you know, I, I put four uh, four millimeter holes on the outside there. But uh, like I was saying, I had a lot of failed prints, so yeah, I mean, I had a layer shift. So you got to make sure your printer's in good order, good working order before you start this, because it looks like it took about a quarter of a roll. Uh, this is actually done in inland PLA plus. Put a leg where you get the PLA if you want to mess with it but yeah like I said halfway through the project I, I burn out a uh, a thermistor which I can't find anymore but yeah I, I shredded a thermistor on my printer so yeah I'd probably you know I mean this took me about a week because I had so many failed prints so still could get it done but we'll get it going let me put the uh, power supply in there so right now I have a, uh, a 700 watt power supply that I'm gonna put in there and then I designed it for two screws here in the back and uh, this should go over here actually like this so this actually one doesn't have should they have the fan but a lot of the power supplies actually have fans over here and that, that's why it's notched down here like that so that's going to go down there like that two screws I gotta get it down further there we go I'm gonna screw that in there and we'll get the get the motherboard on there and the holes line up correctly because I, I actually went online and got the holes whole diameters Yeah, so I figured I'd buy throwing wires, but I also at the same time I wanted support. I guess that's not great, but um, yeah, I wanted to like, wire through to wrap them back up into the motherboard like that. So Alright, so I have the wires pulled out the back here and extra wires, I'm just gonna store right there. And since it's open and it's cool, I can pull the wire from different spots if I want to. Mainly this GPU connector, I might have to move this over to the side to come back over. But uh, we'll do that when I get the side pieces made. Um, I'm actually going to be designing all different kinds of things, like I'm going to have an SSD mount, 2.5 inch SSD mount, and make a power switch for this, uh, I already created one already, that thing up there, uh, put a mount, alright, get the motherboard on. Alright, so I designed this to actually use the uh, coarse thread, so typically when you buy like a, like a computer case, you'll get like the fine thread and this more coarse thread, I'm not even sure of the size of it, but that's actually what I designed it. So I'm going to use those for that. 
All right, so I found an old Core i3 processor in my little processor stash right there, and so I think this originally came with a like a, some Pentium, some sort of Pentium CPU. So I'd rather use a Core i3; it has more cache memory. So I'm gonna do that, and I actually I might change this fan out too to like a lower profile um, Intel base fan because this actually one kind of sticks up pretty far, and I'm tr the whole idea of this thing is uh, to make it compact. So. That way, make sure the keys are the right way. Okay, and then um, where's the low profile fan? I have the heat sink. I don't know. I'll find it somewhere. But yeah, this one actually. I mean, I don't know. I, I guess I could use this, but it kind of sticks pretty far up. You know, it goes pretty high. So, like I said, the whole point of this is to keep it compact. So, all right. All right so no go on the Core i3. So I'm back to the Pentium. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put like a mount there. That's one of the reasons, like I said, there's holes going all the way down. And there's actually a hex on the other side for like an M3. So I've already created one of these from my other build here. So I'm just going to modify for this. SSD here maybe. So yeah, that's where it is. It's a Pentium G630. 4 gig of RAM. So, But I don't actually run Windows. I run uh, Linux. So I'm going to put this card in here. Surprisingly, this is this is actually one of my original video cards on my main computer. It's a uh, GTX, what's that, 750, and uh, two gig of RAM. It still actually makes about five dollars a month. Uh, Vercoin, uh, Bitcoin, gold. I don't know, a couple other ones. Uh, but uh. all right, so I'm printing out the uh, side mounts, the uh, GPU holders. I, I actually created them at 20 millimeters, so uh, it should work with uh, 2020 rail. Or the custom rails I designed, but uh, so yeah, as you can see, it's going to have the four holes here, which line up to these holes right here. And then I'm also I'm doing a BIOS update on this motherboard, so I installed Windows 10 just so I could do the updates. So getting that going, and uh, yeah, so we'll see how this goes. I mean, I'll uh, if you want to start working on this or printing it out or whatever, I want to put it on my Thingiverse page. Then I'm going to keep on adding parts to it as I go, but. I already have, I have all the parts already done. I just need to actually print them out and make sure they fit. So I want to make sure they work before I upload them to Thingiverse. So, cool, I got my SSD mount here, all modular. So, I might do some fan mounts in the front here, like 50 millimeter fans, just to get some uh, extra cooling for the GPUs. But, all right, cool, fun project. You know, it's, uh, it took me a couple hours. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I did uh, Autodesk Fusion 360. But, uh, all right, cool, having fun.